Hello everybody, welcome to There's That Tarot and welcome to the weekly reading. We're going to start with the sign of Aries. Aries, coming out of the weekend, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So whether this is you, your partner, whether it's both of y'all, could be some extracurricular activities that are really affecting the relationship between the two of you. I feel like um, it could be some, the reason that somebody half-asses you in a relationship could be due to an addiction. Some of you may be dealing with someone who would rather you, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say who would rather you. How can I word this? This may be somebody who's a bit of a martyr, or you may be the martyr, or maybe both of you are the martyr in this situation. Kind of like willing to suffer it out in the name of love, which, take it how it resonates, right? But to truly love somebody, you cannot rely on them, you know? So midweek, this may be something that you're coming to the realization of, or they're coming to the realization of. I feel like... For some of you, you may be um, teaching someone, I don't know, one person may be teaching the other independence because we're coming out of the weekend with codependency. I feel like it's hardest when the lights go off at night. Um, somebody may be too focused on what other people have to say or maybe their, their decisions are being influenced by somebody or just that you need to be careful who you have around you. Because the people that you have around you influence your decisions because they're in your ear, right? You could be dealing with a Gemini or who else is in June? Or Cancer? Or something significant could be coming up in the month of June. Let's look at. I feel like this person leaves you waiting. Somebody here likes to be. I don't know. I feel like they make foolish decisions or they don't think before they make decisions. I feel like midweek you're gonna be coming to the realization that I'm suffering in this connection. And it's better if I'm giving this love to myself or it's something about self-love, like you can only rely. Love isn't relying on you, you know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't mean that you can't be a dependable person in a relationship, but there's a difference, you know what I mean? And being able to depend on someone and literally relying on them for some sense of completion, right? Be careful about the connections in your life. It could be a Capricorn as well or some kind of party lifestyle. If there are too many alarms that go off or if you feel drained by someone or there's something that you don't know about this person, people that you can't trust are who you need to avoid this week. Many of you just need to, many of you have been focused on connections. I, I feel like a lot of you need to be get back in touch with like your higher self, start praying more or something like that. Because something is affecting your trust and it could be the, the people that you're connected to emotionally. Something's affecting your trust in yourself or your trust in other people or something like that. Be careful. Um, there's someone, it could be a fire sign, an attention whore, or somebody who gets, I don't know. Be careful about this person. I feel like there's something that you know about them. This person wants to come back to you, or this person has betrayed you before. This could be a cheater, or something like that. It ain't that complicated. If you think they lying, they probably are. Okay? And you need to guard yourself from this energy. So these chapters that you haven't moved on from, Aries, the universe only brings you aspects in others that are active in you. So when you see something in somebody else and you don't like it, that's when it's time to be like, okay, yo, I need to check myself real quick, right? Somebody may be upset that they can't move forward with you, okay? Or maybe you're upset. This could have been somebody you were on a marriage track with or you two could have talked about marriage, but... There could have been cheating, lies, deception, addictions, like I said. 
And I just feel like at the end of the day, this person is not meeting your expectations. When it comes to like longevity, I feel like there are some things, even as a friend, that have not been met. You know, because if you can't be my friend, you can't be my man. It's kind of how that goes. Like a true friend, you know. I was listening to this video the other day and the, and the guy was talking about, you know, he had taken his girlfriend to the club and some girl that he used to deal with walked up and they exchanged phone numbers and it was like kisses on the cheeks and stuff like that, right? But he didn't introduce his girlfriend. It was something that, you know, the girl took it as disrespect, long story, long story short, right? And so... He ended up asking, well, what is cheating? <laughs> and his uncle looked at him and said, well, whatever you wouldn't want done to you. And the way that you could have handled that situation was the moment that she asked you for your phone number, if you knew that this, you know, your girlfriend's sitting there. Y'all done agreed to be committed to each other to date exclusively. He said, the uncle told him, you should have turned around and said, well, this is, you know what I mean? If it's not your girlfriend yet, just introduce her by her name, but put like reference what's happening right here because I didn't walk in here by myself there could have been issues like that in your connection too Aries so we're gonna move on to Taurus because that was a long time let's see that was MJ Harris by the way y'all go check out MJ Harris so Taurus I feel like somebody is not communicating how they're feeling about something. It could be emotional immaturity. They have a you know, mature man in the reverse. Somebody has a problem uh, communicating. It could be their love for someone. I feel like I need to clarify your cards, heart to heart. So I am seeing a relationship that's not quite over, but somebody's still carrying the burden of possibly an ex or some, yeah. There could be resentment here, financial, something financial. Or like somebody, only one person may be carrying the weight financially, but the two aren't divorced yet. So it's a lot that somebody isn't talking about right now that may be affecting the connection between you and someone. I'm not sure. I feel like the way that somebody's handling things is... Either somebody views the way that this masculine, like the way that he's handling things, somebody views it as immature, or he's just not wanting to be the responsible person right now. <laughs> he's just like, why can't I just do what I want to do? Maybe somebody's like, like hitting the climax of, of coming out of this chapter of their life or going through a divorce or something like that, and they're just wanting to break free and do something reckless. <laughs> Everybody feels like that sometimes. <laughs> Or it could be, like I said, the person is, is, there's a feminine that's viewing this masculine as you need to grow up, right? I don't know if you can love me properly, so I'm still kind of guarding myself towards you right now. I feel like the connection between these two is so strong that it makes somebody like not listen to their better judgment. Even though they know deep down something about this is not working between the two of them. And either needs to change or needs to end. Somebody is right. Something you could be dealing with a cancer big time. Um, there's somebody who's recognizing a pattern and it's like, I love you. My love for you is unconditional, but my presence, I don't know if I can be here though, you know, because there's still something, I don't know. I feel like somebody's searching for the truth in a situation between you two. It's like, I'm still not getting the clarity that I'm looking for. Things seem a bit unorganized or hazy. Sometimes I'm, I don't know if either it feels unsuccessful or it feels 
Like sometimes I have your attention and sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's very distant. Communication could suck. It's a lot of things. So literally, Taurus, this card says, what's holding you up? What? What's holding you up is going to support you in your next season. So there's something in your life right now that is keeping you from manifesting, literally. Whatever this Empress in the Reverse is, is not... What is this? It could be connected to a fire sign that you need to move on from. If things aren't growing with this person, there's a reason for that. There's something that you don't trust here, Taurus. Or maybe you feel like somebody has cold feet, their actions are fickle with you, something like that. Things just won't quite get off the ground with you and this person. But I do feel like you love them. I feel like they, they really love you. I feel like that's what keeps you two coming back to this connection. Queen of Cups is here again, but somebody here is not divorced. So it feels more like a missed opportunity, like one may never know, because there's an inner knowing. And this is the thing about energy. It's like the person may not be around. The person could live across town and then in another country or whatever but the energy is still there and i feel like it's blocking what could happen between the two of you and that's what's making somebody want to turn this down so i'm seeing that somebody needs to like kind of somebody's like i would rather just if it's not going to be right right now then i would rather just draw a blank slate and you know just start over because I don't want to be in a situation that you're not available to be in with me. You know, my self-worth is a little bit more than that at this point than to be on the side or something like that, right? Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. There could also be someone else in this person's life. Either that they're moving on from or that is pursuing your person, okay? There is somebody who seems to be pursuing your person, trying to make peace with your person. I feel like this is somebody that your person may be trying to protect themselves from or broke, broke up with. This person could have been a cheater, liar, deceptive, had a pretty rough past or something like that. So I'm seeing your person wanting to be single, but there's somebody pursuing your person, but they're also looking at either you or you're looking at them. Like, I'd rather just start over than to, you know, I'm just coming out of one thing and that was a little rough on me and I'd rather not come flying into something else that's not all the way right. You know what I mean? Somebody feels like the other person. There's a there's competition for this Queen of Wands. You know, I feel like there's deep feelings. Like I choose this person. I want to be with this person. I see success with this person, but there's like a lack mindset when it comes to this person. I'm not sure who this is, Source, but there's something here. I feel like this person lacks patience with you. But I also feel like there's a lot going on. And until you are able to really make a decision on this, I would avoid getting too caught up. I feel like you two, like I said, heart to heart conversations is in the reverse. This is a situation y'all need to communicate what it is that you really want from each other. 
what I can give, you know, what I have, what I feel willing to give to this situation right now as it stands and go from there. Gemini. Coming out of the weekend, Gemini, some either Either y'all been stuck in y'all head about somebody or, or something. Somebody could literally have been in jail. Somebody got a, somebody could have got snitched on <laughs> over the weekend, something like that. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, there could have been a secret that came out over the weekend. I feel like somebody's control issues were keeping them kind of blocked off too. Like, I can't... I'm trying to hold on to something. And because I'm trying to hold it on to it or I'm trying to lock this thing down, it's actually locking me down. You know what I mean? And it's keeping me from loving on myself. Because if I was loving on myself right now, I wouldn't even be thinking about this. Does that make sense? Somebody may need to open up about how they really feel. Whether this person, however this person reacts to it, if it's your truth, you need to go ahead and say how it is that you feel about it. They may turn on you. That's okay. You told your truth. Because there's no point in me wanting you to be different or you wanting me to be different in order for us to come together. It's like, it is what it is. If it's not working, then that's the part that we need to look at. I feel like um, this person was either really nice to you or like this person did really nice things for you. But I also feel like this is someone who hurt you. Or this is somebody who you were really nice to but it's like the nice ones that hurt you the most right because nice people don't <laughs> and it's not i'm not trying to make nice people a bad thing or nice a bad thing but a lot of times when you're just trying to be nice you're not being honest about something you know what i mean and you people can get led on somebody may have not I feel, I feel like the lie was that they were not actually ready for a relationship. They could have been talking to somebody else. They could have been not over an ex. I don't know what I want right now. Let's just go with the flow, you know. But I feel like there were some red flags here that made them... I don't know. You saw, you saw that they were unreliable. And I feel like this could have been somebody that you gave your best to. And they expected it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even if they weren't giving their best, they were still expected it, expecting it from you. <clears throat> Let's look at this. Turn on you. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Could be an Aries or a Taurus here, a double Aries. Ooh, there's another fire sign here. I feel like this person was back and forth, wasting your time. And I feel like you are resentful. Maybe you calling out, calling this out on this person. Why are you holding back from me? Something like that. You're not ready. You questioned it already. Is this person talking to someone else? There's two queens here. It's like this relationship couldn't happen and now you see why. So I do see you moving on from whoever this king of wands, fire sign, the strength card is here. Could be another air sign, Leo. You were carrying most of the burden in this situation, Gemini. Most of the weight of the relationship. You know, there's there's one thing to have somebody that helps you pay the bills or y'all go out sometimes or y'all take pictures together sometimes. But there's another thing when 
it comes to what it actually takes to sustain a relationship. And I feel like that's the part that you were carrying away. Or it could be vice versa. Take it how it resonates. This person kind of left you in the dark. And I feel like that was the heaviest part of it all because there was a lot of like playing on your feelings. And you saw that. And things would like get hot and heavy and then it fizzle out real quick. Or the good times were really good, but the bad times really sucked. Yeah. That's good advice for Gemini this week. Don't continue watering something that's not growing. I'm seeing something that you need to stop pursuing. Stop overthinking it. There's better for you. If you move on, see, that's what it is. You trying to hold on to this or whoever trying to hold on to this is actually like me trying to lock this down is actually locking me down. Me moving on from this opens up the way. It opens up the way for you, for things to start picking up and moving forward in your life, Gemini. So, we're going to move on to Cancer. Cancer. Coming out of the weekend. Let's see. Either there's somebody that... Some of you don't. Some of you are not looking to get to know anybody right now. Some of you may have, been, may have come out of something where you're just like, I need a minute. Or there's somebody who didn't... There's something that somebody didn't let you in on. Or you didn't let somebody else in on. Someone could not be well. We have bad health here. It could be a masculine energy. It could be somebody that you are nurturing to or that you take care of. Be connected to an Aquarius. This could be connected to a third party as well. Okay, so if I'm just saying this could be connected to something I don't like putting stuff out there like that but if you need to go get your checkup somebody dipped off and did something foul and came back to this relationship just saying okay better safe than sorry but i feel like somebody may have come back and it's like the damage is done already Somebody's not even stuck on the situation like they were. So it's like, was it even worth it to go out and do all that? We could have just had a conversation, something like that. There may be a need to look at the situation, the glass half full. I feel like that may be already how you're looking at this and that's how you got over it so fast. Somebody could have just been all talk. I feel like there's somebody that you just could. You had a really hard time believing this person. And I feel like that's why you broke up with them. And I feel like ever since then, it's helped you to resolve. You know how it, it could have been the common denominator to whatever stress or disharmony you were feeling. It could have been connected to this relationship. Bad health could be connected to anxiety. Or this could be something that... I'm telling you, some of y'all need to go get checked this week. Somebody regrets stepping out. For some of you, that is the case. It doesn't normally come through that clear, but yeah. Somebody's 
So it's like, and because I can't believe you, because I feel like so many things are in the dark, I'm going to go ahead and head out. That's fine. And I feel like you're, you'll be able, if somebody treated you like you didn't have no feelings. And I feel like it was all to point you back in the direction of a higher power in your life. You know, sometimes God is just like, I'm right here. If you just turn around. Instead of overthinking it. I feel like this person has brought a lot of confusions in, a lot of confusion in your life or it could be a lot of options that you all have in your life and you can't really see what's real and what's not. And sometimes it's not for you to figure out. That's why God is right here. Just like He's like sitting there like, you can utilize me at any point. Anytime that you're feeling confused, sometimes we have to lean not on your own understanding. I, I just, I feel the need to say that October could be significant. Somebody could, some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. There could be a Scorpio that you are, it may be more stressed than it's worth. Um, just the situation itself, not the person. But I feel like the situation may be more stressed than I feel like you're willing to deal with right now. Somebody could leave you feeling like, where are you? It's like, I'm not a piece of meat. You can't just put me on ice whenever and then come back and, you know, pick me up and then put me back down. I feel like somebody could have had you. Yeah, you're putting your foot down about that. It could be somebody who's upset that you don't trust them, but I feel like they've given you reason not to. Either because of their immature ways, could be addictions or other connections in their life, bad communication, being actually unreliable. Or, at, or behaving like a single person and you two are supposed to be in a relationship, not putting enough work into the relationship. Like, I feel like there were a lot of reasons why you came to this conclusion. So I'm not going to ask you to be anything. I feel like this is the point of your week, Cancer. It's like, I'm not gonna, if you're not, if it's not making me happy, if it's not bringing me joy, if, if you're not behaving in a way that I like right now, I'm not even gonna try to change it. I'm just gonna go wherever my happy is. That's, that's where I'm going this week. And if that means new associations, new networks, or somebody who's maybe trying to renew their love with you, if it still don't feel right, I don't see you entertaining it this week. If it feels like there's something in the dark, I don't see you entertaining it this week. I don't see you pouring your heart or wearing your heart. I don't see you pouring your heart in anything. I don't see you wearing your heart on your sleeve this week. So <laughs> do not get in Kansas way this week. I don't think y'all are angry. I just think y'all mean business. So... Leo, Leo, your week may surround a courtship between you and someone. The number four could be significant. Somebody could be born in April. We could be dealing with the Aries. But I feel like you lack optimism about this connection. This could be somebody you shared a home with. <laughs> Y'all could like to listen to Erica Badu <laughs> together. The song that's playing right now is called On and On. Y'all could have listened to a lot of music together at night. Um, you could be at the airport a lot. I feel like both of you have seen different parts of the world that not everybody has seen. Something like that. 
Those are just intuitive messages. Um, I feel like you guys also enjoyed a lot of outside moments together. But there's something that is making you lack optimism. It could be somebody's avoided behavior. Maybe it feels like this person isn't thinking about you anymore or thinking about being in a relationship. But there's somebody here who still has hope for this. It's like, even though it ended, I don't want things to be over. I would like, you know, somebody's feeling like this is a missed opportunity. I'm seeing that this is something that I need to, to go back to. Maybe I tried to avoid it. Or maybe somebody just let go. We do have um, Aries energy here. I feel like... If somebody was holding on or... I don't know. It feels like somebody just let go. Not necessarily saying anything or not necessarily doing anything. Just, okay, whatever happens, happens. And I'm over here. And I feel like that caused a lot of disappointment with you, Leo. Or perhaps somebody turned down hanging out, communication slowed down. I do see somebody who walked away. And I feel like it may have had something to do with either their sense of security, stability. It could have been insecurities, but it's like I would rather just not than to have to sift through all of that, all of those feelings, something like that. Then I don't know why that person feels that way. I feel like there was something in this connection that may have been, it's like it just wouldn't change. Or it would get to a certain point and then it would go back to how it was or something like that. And somebody may have got sick of it. I do see somebody who may be, who's trying to change though. I am seeing that. And you change your life through changing your mind. And you change your mind through repetitious things, right? So if it's if normally you get up and you smoke a blunt, then get up and, I don't know, run in place for 30 minutes. So thir not 30 minutes, but run in place for five minutes. Get your heartbeat going and then go drink a whole bunch of water. Or something like that. Like, change. there's something that somebody needs to change in order to see change in their life, right? This could be some things that need to be um, healed, connected to somebody's health. Somebody's still fighting for something, for someone to take an offer who seems to be focused on themselves or either sneaking away from this connection. Maybe somebody, maybe you think somebody has started something new as well. Um, Leo. So we have, I feel like a lot of you have a lot that you need to be focused on. We have you either going to get over it or die mad. There may be somebody that, I don't know, I feel like there was so much happiness and love between the two of you, but also something got heavy here. And it's like, I need to take control of this connection or these feelings that I'm having because it may be prohibiting me from, I don't know, functioning, drained. I may be stressed, maybe affecting my energy, my, my workflow, my, my drive. And either I'm going to get over it or, or I'm going to die mad. I got to get in front of this. I got to get ahead so it may be something that somebody actually may need to seek counseling for or just help advice from a friend like there's so many of us on this planet like utilize your resources people are resources and if you're having a problem getting over something on your own whether it's a person an addiction or whatever it is don't let your pride get in the way leo there's somebody out here made just for what you're going through There's somebody here who loves you, or I feel like you you just you have love to give to this person, but somebody 
is very afraid of not, you know, like a lack of reciprocation. There could have been a lot of indecision here um, on somebody's part, but I feel like it may have started on... So if I was the one who had cold feet before, now the other person has cold feet. It could be a situation like that. Somebody thought that they... I feel like somebody thought if I just give you a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, then I'll always be able to keep you where it is that I want you to be when I want you to be there. Somebody had a very entitled, ridiculous attitude towards another person, a whole nother person with a whole nother life and set of skills and experiences. We cannot control other people. And somebody was attracted to the fact that I could bread from you, give you a little bit, give you a little bit, um, until I made up my mind. And that's whack. <laughs> I'm just uh, to whoever that is. I feel like somebody woke up and now they're afraid to give their heart to this situation. Somebody's no longer optimistic about it because I don't know if you're going to treat it right. You know, and I was talking about, um, you know, quality service in a relationship. Every, every relationship, there's an amount of service that goes into it. And a lot of times we just get caught up in the the way we look together, the way the sex is, this and that, but we forget well, what kind of service is this person providing in this relationship? Because for a job, I'm going to vet you and you know what I mean? There are going to be certain requirements for you to be able to have this position in my company. We don't do the same thing when it comes to ourselves. Now, I'm not saying you should vet and play games and test this person and all that kind of bullshit. I'm saying that whatever energy that you want to be, that you want to experience, what it is, what is it that you want to experience? What's the feeling that you're looking for in your ideal relationship? And do your best to bring that energy to the relationship and see what kind of energy is reciprocated to you. Because a lot of times when we're wanting, love me, you know, I deserve this. This is what, you know, when we're wanting something so bad, and that's our train of thought is this is what I deserve, then we're going to attract more reasons to think that. Well, I deserve this and I deserve this and this entitlement, right? But when we focus on being the giver of that, then we become the recipient. Does that make sense? The giver of that love that we're looking for, of that feeling that we're looking for, then we become the recipient of that same energy. I hope that makes sense. Take your time, Leo. I hope that makes sense. I'm move on to Virgo. Virgo, coming out of the weekend. It may be a decision that's made. Let's see. Well, there may be, um, if you guys are going through a court case, there may be a decision. What's today? This is February. So it could be the 30th of some, of, of I don't know which month yet, okay. That a decision may be made, and I feel like it's going to help you to free your mind. Or somebody may be getting out of jail. Or it could be something that helps you free your mind of a disappointment or a family situation. Or some of you may be deciding to, like, I can't keep myself in this place of disappointment anymore. I have to get over the fact that I couldn't make this happen. It's time for me to stand up for myself. I can't. You may be blocking somebody. Um, you may also see that this person may have started something new in secret. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. And it's like something may confirm your insecurities um, of somebody's lack of commitment here. Queen of Cups. Some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces. Somebody here, it was very either selfish or sad in this relationship. I feel like this person really wanted this connection with you. They didn't want things to be over. 
But there was something here that maybe someone never took accountability for that made things very stagnant in the relationship. Something that either someone was holding on to, they hadn't let in, but they never talked about whatever this was. Okay. But somebody here could um, have been stuck in another relationship or a marriage. And that's what kind of made... Like I said, and I think it was Taurus's reading. It's like I can show up to you with no ring on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can show up to you. Maybe my kids and my husband and everybody is like in another country. But at some point, we get at some point in our relationship, we're gonna hit a block because I still got all that other stuff going on. You know what I mean? And I feel like that may have been an issue here. Between you and your person. Somebody could live near Central Park or like in the city or it could be, you know, something about Central Park could be significant. Um, I feel like some, somebody's from the city. Tall buildings. Could be New York. Keep an open mind. My mind, it's hard for me to keep my mind open when you cheated on me before. It's easier to detach when I've seen this behavior before. Something like that. Or it's easier to see what it is that I need to detach from. There's too much confusion and somebody's got a lot of options. Somebody may have a drinking problem. Somebody's got secrets, okay? I'm seeing cheating here. It's hard for somebody to keep an open mind about this connection because there have been, somebody's a repeat offender. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. I don't know who it is. And then to make it so bad, you know, I feel like whoever this person is projects all of that shit onto the other person. So then it becomes my fault that you did all of this and I'm reacting the way that I'm reacting to it. So we got gaslighting, we got projection, we got playing hard to get. We got somebody who, I don't know, it's like, they somebody here in this situation is feeding off of someone else. And I feel like there's someone who is, has chosen to live with this guard up so it's like, like I said, if I expect, yeah, exactly, the seven of wands, as soon as I said that, if I expect you to be an asshole, if I, if that's the energy that I bring to our interaction, then nine times out of ten, you're going to get asshole, you know. And somebody's seen this behavior, cancer energy is here too, and I see somebody turning this down. Even I feel like even the way that somebody fights for love is a bit like do you love me or are you trying to fight me? Like I don't know what that energy is. And I think that the worst part about it is somebody doesn't even have a plan. And they're not saying that they don't have a plan or they could be lying about something or you could just find out that I can't like I see it all now. I can't let this hold me back anymore. I've over I've overthought this for long enough. November could be significant for a lot of you. You may have started losing hope in this situation in November after something you found out. Um but yeah. <laughs> You're like this person doesn't even have a plan. Maybe this person just wants my attention. Maybe somebody's just playing hard to get, but I feel like it's Everything that kept you from keeping your mind open and your heart open to this situation is going to bring you or somebody else to a decision about this situation this week. Advice is, if it doesn't feel stable, move away from it and don't look back. That's literally the advice we're going. So, all right. So, Libra. Your job could be a main focus for you this week. I feel like there's something that you are working on. Some of you may work in the fashion industry. 
I feel like your work may be very tedious. For some of you, it requires a uniform. The number seven could be significant. There could be somebody that you work with as well. It could be a Scorpio or water sign. Masculine energy. This could be somebody, this person could be younger than you, but I feel like there's a parent, parent, child, little brother, sister, I don't know, type of dynamic between the two of you. I feel like somebody holds on to that part of the relationship. Or perhaps, <laughs> okay, I see what this is. There could be somebody whose actions have been, it could be somebody that you work with, but there could be somebody whose actions have been a little fickle with you. So if they've been in and out, then it's possibly because they might be dealing with someone else. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, or a Virgo. Deep down, you know that something is all talk or that somebody may be playing games with you. Or like them talking, them saying, oh, I want to be in a relationship with you. Um, this is what I want to do. It's like something here is all talk. It's what you feel. And that you just want to get out of this. What feels like a third party situation is causing a lot more stress than it's worth for you. I feel like your happiness is in going back to being single and independent. Because I feel like the road that you've been on may have led you to betrayal from this person. Libra, drop this indecisive, I don't, you know. You, you've seen this pattern with this person already. And I don't think you need to be held up by it. I think occupation is here because it's something about this connection that seems more like work than pleasure. I feel like the mask has been dropped. Somebody may have been being deceptive with you. Or maybe you're just ready to clear the air. Somebody was offering, it's like, somebody's words weren't matching up with their actions. I'll say that. It's like they would offer you something. Yeah, somebody was offering you way more than they could or something like that. This person spoke without thinking. You know how um, if I say, hey, can you help me move on Saturday? And this person's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. And then they leave you waiting. It's like flatline. So this, I don't know if that means that they had bad intentions or, or what, but there's a big lack of accountability here. And I just see you going back to being sufficient within yourself and that being the best thing for you. Sometimes either you're healing from a toxic connection, could be connected to a Capricorn or an Aquarius, Leo energies here, or sometimes what we wish for is so unhealthy for us. And I feel like we really wanted this, but maybe it just didn't work out. <clears throat> There's a part of you that knew, like I said, deep down, it's like, there's no ignoring the signs that I'm seeing anymore. This person has been dangling a carrot over your head or vice versa for the longest. I feel like this month, this month, yeah, that's exactly what this person was doing. It's like, they would be quick to say, yeah, I got you. I would, I'll do it, something like that. And I think you're just tired of that shit. This month, your intuition is kicking in. There's a relationship that I see you no longer fighting for. It's too inconsistent. This person's actions are too inconsistent. There are so many people on this planet, Libra. There's somebody else for you. <laughs> this card says... 
men or women are like buses. They come every five minutes. I mean, it's going to be somebody else. Because this here, it feels forced. And I feel like I don't want you to get into a situation where somebody is taking advantage of you because they're accustomed to having you around. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be accustomed to having me around versus like really valuing me. Because I feel like there's somebody here who wasn't really fighting for you. And that could have caused a lot of insecurities. This person... Um... Bread crumbing, it just we gave you just enough to keep you hanging on type of energy. But this is somebody who is just extremely unreliable. You may have questioned this person's... Um mental capacity at some point <laughs> i am so sorry well this person has made you feel crazy at some point you know what i mean well this, you know how somebody try to make you feel like you're crazy it's not that complex you're not stupid libra this person um may have just been pulling the wool over your eyes some of you may have been dealing with a fire sign I didn't mean to say that. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody who was... They may have fire in their chart. They, I feel like there was somebody else in the picture. There could have been a break between the two of you. Somebody could have revisited something. But there's a lot of non-committal energy here. Somebody could have also gone back to their family. There's a lot of emotional manipulation here. Lack of effort. You know, somebody may still be grieving something from their past. And there's an Aries energy here. Something ain't over between them and someone. Their behavior confuses you. And it's time for you to be honest with yourself about it. Get out of this drama that this person, that is this somebody's life. I don't feel like this is your life. But you got you got you a, a, a runner, Libra. And I think the, the, the veil is dropping this week. And once the veil drops, it's up to us what we're going to do with the revelation. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not this big old moment of, oh, I finally, you know, everything was revealed. Like somebody just calls you and just tells you all this person's tea. Sometimes it don't even happen like that. Sometimes it's just you start to connect the dots, you know. <clears throat> it's not balanced, Libra. Ooh, magician, temperance, empress in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. This person has ghosted you. This person has been aloof. This person may have a lot of options, but they seem to... I don't know if they're lazy or if they're moping over something. There could be... There's just a big no here that I'm seeing in this person's energy. And this, it's, this, is, this energy is keeping you from blooming. I see you... I mean, all you got to do is like not put your focus here anymore and things will start moving for you. Because I feel like this kills your drive. Whatever this is. It's an anticlimax. It's a tease, you know. So, we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio. Some of you may not be worried about, if you're worried about money, a lot of you may not have to worry about that soon. It could be a promotion on your job. <clears throat> so there may be somebody that you're not listening to your intuition about because we have... Wealthy man and concern in the reverse. I feel like on one side, things may be going well, but maybe in your personal life, your love life, um, maybe things are not so clear. And I think it's like that sometimes. I feel like I'm better in my work life than my love life too, you know? 
Let's see, got it. <clears throat> Somebody's name could be Alex. Some of you need to check on your mother this week. Um, somebody's car may need to be serviced. It could be somebody's mother's car needs to be serviced. Make sure y'all call her. Wealthy man. King of Pentacles. It could be like a court case that goes in your favor. Or a call that comes in about a new job or some money. Could be connected to a divorce for some of you. Something that you may have had a hard time coming to a decision on. I feel like there's some truth and clarity that's going to come from that on where you need to put your focus on or where some unhappiness may be coming from. It's like you'll be able to identify something this week. I do see someone who, let's see. Someone may feel like they were done wrong by someone else either that is ignoring them or it could be this is like someone making peace with an ex spouse someone could also find out that the person that they were dealing with may have been dealing with somebody else and they recognize a pattern there and I see this person walking away from that. This could be a masculine energy. This could just be someone who has um, <clears throat> a decent income or above average income. What's concerning the reverse? It's like now that I see something or that I've identified something, I can heal and let go of the past. There was something that's, it may have been a decision that someone left you out of. <laughs> Somebody could have been um, dancing between two different situations, kind of like multitasking. There's something here about that. And I see someone no longer waiting to be hurt by someone else again. I don't, I don't want to hear another apology, something like that. Trust is here. This situation calls for you to have trust, but I feel like you may feel as though someone is all talk or somebody's been playing games with you. It could be a cancer. Maybe there's, some, maybe there's something that somebody is not over yet. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. You may wonder if a person has resolved another relationship in their life. Some of you may be dealing with the Aries or a Gemini. I'm seeing somebody may be choosing to walk away and it looks like it's from a fire sign. <laughs> This could be somebody that you feel like has gotten away with things for a long time. But people don't get away with things. Sometimes we feel like we need a person. But I feel like you're getting to the point now where there's been so many things that have happened. And you're just ready to let go. Maybe there have been so many lies that have been told. I think a lot of you, um, your heart may connect when you're intimate with someone. And I feel like you're kind of telling yourself, you know, before I go there again, let me make sure this is a safe situation because I know, you know, my feelings get caught up when I have sex. So a lot of you, if you don't feel stable in the situation, I see you avoiding it this week, like not even trying to make it happen. Because I'm realizing that every day I get a chance to do something different, right? So maybe I should look at my attachments. Some of you may smoke. There's somebody that you haven't been listening to your intuition about. It could be a spouse, it could be an ex, it could be an earth sign or an air sign. I feel like there may be a truth that comes out, 
possibly either about yeah there's somebody here who is still connected to another person some of you could be dealing with the error he's this keeps popping up there's something there's another connection that is not um done yet i actually feel like both of you may be coming out of something you know Like I said, some of you could be dealing with a cancer. What's this cancer energy? It's like I can't make anything happen with you if your heart's not in it or if you're not single or if you're guarded. Especially if you're just blowing hot air at me, something like that. Somebody may just be playing hard to get. What's the advice for Scorpio? The star of the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. I'm wishing for something, but I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. You may feel like the person that you are wanting or that you've been dealing with is for the street. So maybe that this person is um creating some sort of burden on you. Maybe you feel like you're doing all the work. Maybe you feel like this person is connected to somebody else. And I see something may be coming to the light this week. About this person. Scorpio. If you've noticed their energy shifting on you, if you feel like somebody is getting cold feet on you, this may not be the time. I see someone wanting attention and waiting for it, but I see like them not getting that. You know what I mean? Maybe communication's off. Maybe somebody's going back to like these behaviors that made you question them in the first place. So I do see you deciding to resolve this, to not commit, to not put any more of your energy here because some I'm sorry I feel like somebody is cheating and that's what this looks like we're gonna move on to Sagittarius Some of you may work for the government. There could be a divorce going on with some of you, or you could be connected to somebody who's going through one. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn as well. I feel like something's going to be going in your favor this week. Something that could have given you quite the challenge. Let me see. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Two for Taurus. Oh yeah. Something's gonna become crystal clear to you this week. It's almost like it's gonna be undeniable, unmistakable. It could be even shocking to you, or it, it allows you to let something fall out of your life. Stop fighting for Something that should have been, that could have been. You know what I mean? Some of you may actually be dealing with a Taurus. You may have come back to this person or this person may have come back around to you. But maybe you were wondering what they were actually investing their time in. Maybe you were overthinking things that they said to you. Maybe this person is lying to me. Am I offering something to this person only to be turned down or isn't going to go anywhere or something like that? Many of you are ready to put a, heart, a stop to this heartbreak, right? Somebody may have reconnected with someone else. That's what I'm seeing here too. And, and it caused things to slow down between the two of you. Aries energy is here. Taurus. 
This is definitely some unrequited love, but I feel like what what's, what becomes very clear to you this week is that, you know, sometimes we're in denial about these things and sometimes it, it, it hits a point where it's like, I can't ignore this anymore. And I feel like you're just going to get to that point this week where you get yourself back on track. What's healing family issues? Sometimes, let's see. So, I'm seeing that maybe you had some trust. I'm seeing a Taurus here. Taurus, Aries, strong. It could have been like, I mean, it's given a love triangle, or it's just given that there more than there's more than two people involved here. There could have been. Let's say your person fell out with somebody else, and they stopped dealing with each other. There could have been a comeback around in that situation, right? This person may have turned your person down. This could have been why this person was holding back because they, they were avoiding trying to make an, a missed opportunity happen with somebody else. It could be the case. But either way, healing family issues, your love life benefits from forgiving. What does it say? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents or as you forgive people. I feel like... Um, There was somebody that somebody was not over yet. I feel like it's the masculine energy. This person didn't lean in. I feel like there was a lot of hiding or like running from the truth. There was somebody who was looking for more of a challenge than something that literally may have been placed in their lap. Um, there's somebody who may have been afraid to ask you out or maybe you were afraid to ask them out. Okay, you may have been afraid to ask this person out. Take it how it resonates. I'm not sure who it is. But let's just say you were afraid to ask this person out because you feel like there was competition. You know. Somebody did not... I don't know. It could have been a problem with loyalty here. In this situation. Somebody has a gift to gab. Like they always know what to say. It could be a Scorpio. Leo. <clears throat> But I'm seeing it's like, it's a lot of reversals here. There's something that you're seeing clearly. Like, I cannot keep investing myself in this. Be careful about the way that people treat other people, too. I feel like this person is rude. Or there's maybe somebody who's rude to other people. Or like, you know how, you know those people when they get something new, then they become brand new with you. This may have been somebody who acted brand new with you whenever they got some money or whenever they, I don't know, whenever they were feeling good about themselves. And then when things became too heavy, they like, they felt like they could come back to you. Something like that. But I feel like this person was not honest about a lot of things. Or, you know, this could have been somebody who told a lot of half-truths to you. So it was a half-relationship kind of thing. I do feel like there was a lot of indecision or dishonesty coming from this person. And a lot of times, if we want to know how somebody feels about us then we have to just look at what it is that they're showing us or what it is that we're showing them am i showing you that you can get away with this bullshit with me you know am i showing you that no matter what you do no matter what you say that you'll always be able to come back to me and i'll help you clean it up or you know what i mean what am i showing you and what are you showing me what's the advice let me this capricorn energy real quick
somebody could be connected to a Capricorn as well. I feel like there was a fallout between you and this person or, or your person and them. What's the advice for Cap uh, not Capricorn, for Sag? Advice for Sagittarius. There's somebody who is, it's like they always leave you wondering. They always leave you feeling, this person knows how to get what they want. And then they disappear for these times and then they return. And it's like you feel the, you feel it when they, when they go, but they leave enough to keep you either wondering if I should be here or not or wanting to see how this ends something like that recognize the pattern here Sagittarius recognize that whenever these things happen that they don't take accountability Sagittarius recognize how unfair this is to you and how many other opportunities you could be missing out on by way of dealing with this person And then act accordingly. I'm going to move on to Capricorn. All right. Capricorn. I see you kind of breaking away from something too. Sometimes we got to let God handle it. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not for us to handle it. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Every moment that you spend with the wrong person, you take away from the right one. Sometimes we just got to let go and let God handle it. I feel like this may be surrounding a relationship that needs to end. There's somebody in your life who had their chance. Like we say in my world, you had your chance at the mic, honey. It's time. <laughs> Next. Something like that. Breaking the chains that bind very clear-cut reading this could be the one is in the reverse some of you could be from california beverly hills palm tree type action some of you could be going on vacation some of you could be planning a cruise what's distant horizons Some of you need to take some space away. Sometimes you just got to get away in order to kind of ground yourself and or to make a decision. Some of you need to take a minute and ask yourself, why do I keep going back to this? Why do I keep going back to something that I know disappointed me the last time I went there and the last time I went there and the last time I went there and the last time I went there? This is like the golden hour, Capricorn. Why do I keep allowing this person to come back and throw me off track? Something like that. Why do I, why am I not listening to myself when I'm clearly questioning what is the truth in this situation? And it's, keep, it's, it's stealing your interest in it. I feel like having to ask questions about this, having to wonder, having to always constantly seek out the truth is draining you and is breaking your own heart in this situation. Um, there could also be lies, deception. People are not saying how it is that they feel. Somebody's not putting enough effort into this. It could be due to cheating. But this is looking like unrequited love. My dear. And instead of creating another wound, maybe it's time for me to move on. This could be the one is in the reverse. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Knight of Wands. Somebody keeps things in the dark. Somebody puts a burden on you. So Y'all done fell out. Y'all's communication is bad. 
there's better for you, Capricorn, than constant fights, constant makeup and breakup, in and out, you know, up and down. Your love is like a seesaw, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. And it doesn't always help to get up under somebody else, you know. Or get on top of somebody else. Because I feel like there's there's another there's a somebody who helped you to take your mind off of whatever this is. But really, it's time for you to look at you, Capricorn. Ain't nothing wrong with getting your rocks off, okay? But it's really time to kind of look at you. And figure out how to get, in, get this urge maybe under control. Because there's somebody here who lacks trust in you. And I feel like it's this Gemini that you're waiting on or investing in or something like that. I feel like you invested a lot of time into this person. And sometimes we get caught up on how long we've known a person. Oh, but we spent three years together. Oh, we spent five years together. So? And I get it. I get it. I say the same thing to myself. Oh, but I've known him my whole life. So? And what has he brought you your whole life? You know what I mean? Or what does y'all, when y'all energies come together, like, does it produce good results? You know what I mean? Is it making your skin glow? Do people look at you and be like, oh my God, you looking so good. You look happy. What's going on with you? Or do they be like, you okay? Everything okay? You know, you can call me with it. <laughs> Trust me, I've been on both sides of that. Like, you okay? Like, you know, like you a little stressed. Could be a lot of false starts a lot of stagnancy in this relationship foolish behavior bad decisions i don't see you needing to move forward with this gemini at all it's like a lot of gemini energy here i see you being better off single though i see things growing in your life as a single person because this person whoever you're dealing with does not trust you six of wands in the reverse king of pentacles in the race you need to put this love back into yourself. I think you've lost hope in this. It drains you. Anyway, Capricorn, your advice is to see this ending for what it needs to be. I see the ending of a relationship here. And I see you needing to give up on this. Like your intuition is telling you this shit is throwing me off. Stress on stress on stress. Okay. It's not. This is not. Your intuition is telling you to stop. So, we'll move on to Aquarius. Mm, the song that's playing right now is called Falling in Love, Aquarius. Aquarius, I think either someone has lowered their expectations or somebody is no longer expecting anything from a situation. I feel like somebody's not saying how they feel. And that may be why somebody um, no longer has any expectations for this connection. Somebody may have poured it on too thick too soon or it's like trying to be big when little got you kind of like, you know, I don't know. Maybe I want to take you to Roof Chris, but I can only afford Applebee's tonight. Somebody poured it on too thick, though. Expectations. Somebody has lowered their expectations. It's like somebody here is letting go. Queen of Wands, uh, not Wands. Some of you may be dealing with the fire sign, but Queen of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Wands in the reverse, the World Card, Three of Swords in the reverse, Six of Wands in the reverse. They don't have no expectation for this no more, whoever this is. Somebody has kind of like zoomed out on this situation and they're like, if we're here now and we went through this and, 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 and we're here now, <laughs> Based on that, and based on where we are right now, I don't see us getting over here. It's almost like somebody made an, ex an executive decision, a um, mind over heart decision. 
that you know what I mean? What do they call it? Uh, appraisal. <laughs> somebody didn't. I don't, that's not funny. I'm sorry. That wasn't funny for somebody, but I don't know. Like me trying to figure this out. Somebody did an appraisal on the relationship, and I was like, eh. you know what I mean? Express your love in the reverse. Somebody didn't express their love because maybe they were constantly dancing between should I do it, should I not? Should I be in a relationship? Should I put it, you know, should I not? And I feel like it left somebody waiting in like this place of limbo, dealing with their own feelings, starting to fall out of love, but still holding on to hope for it, but also wanting to just stop. Could have been you. Um, somebody was in maybe in denial for a while it's like i'm still physically in a relationship but i keep thinking about how i might be wasting my time or how disappointed i feel or how little i'm getting somebody may seem distracted we're just like we're constantly falling out there are questions what's the truth i just want to be able to make peace with the questions in my mind wednesday wednesday could be um Wednesday. There could be a breakup on Wednesday. There could be like, maybe like, I don't know, Wednesday may not be the happiest day. Because I feel like something just comes to a head. It could be a breakup or it could be a clearing of the air on Wednesday. Whatever's been bothering the two of you could be, I don't know, communicated on Wednesday. may have come off like oh yeah I'm that guy or I'm ready for commitment or you know I'm that girl or whoever um, it's like painting a picture that looked better than it actually was it could have been like oh yeah I got the money I got this I got that um, but either somebody could it could be a job loss it could be that they are not as committed or as shiny as they portrayed themselves to be um, and I feel like whoever was pretending, the other person peeped it because it's something about this other person's energy that's like, they have an eye for, um, what's genuine, something like that. And somebody knew, somebody could have found out that the other person was cheating or lying or being deceptive, something like that. But somebody here gets turned down and possibly broken up with because it's like you could have just been honest. Something like that. It's like if you didn't have, I don't know, if you don't make six figures, you don't. You know, if my boyfriend makes 400K a year and I make 60, it is what it is. I'm not going to come in telling him that I make 250 if I don't. Something like that. You have your better off without them. Eight of Swords in reverse. This could be the feminine energy who's feeling this way. It's like, I'd rather just let go of this than to return to something that feels burdensome to me. I wasn't happy because I felt like, let's see. Somebody had a lot of, I don't know. Somebody may have had a hard time accepting who they are or who where their life is. And so they tried to like maybe put on this air and people do that i mean we do that sometimes i just wanted shit to look better than it was right but i feel like that it was connected to this person's insecurities which kind of translated in the relationship as lying something like that Some of you could have been dealing with a cancer or a fixed sign. I, I do feel like somebody lost hope because the truth was being hidden in this connection, whether it was due to somebody just not wanting to lose the other person. I don't really want you to see me this way, something like that. Somebody has definitely raised their standards. Somebody's going to be a lot more. I feel like this relationship is teaching one of you to be a lot more selective because... 
this. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like, okay, the feminine energy is definitely going to be more selective after this connection. Because it was somebody's lies. It was somebody's, um, they just weren't faithful. They were just were wasting a lot of time. Could have been um, party lifestyle, still wanting to play the field. Somebody who does probably don't like to wear condoms. Um, or just lacked initiative or drive in this connection. Um, somebody here wouldn't make up their mind. Okay, so I feel like there's... It could be an Aries who decides to just completely disconnect from this connection. It's like, I'm deciding not to. And it's due to... Feeling like I'm carrying most of the weight. You got a whole lot going on behind the scenes. Okay? You or whoever, I'm just saying. Whoever's calling it quits is like, I'm going to put my focus somewhere where I know there are going to be results, like good results, like where I know I'm going to bear fruit. Because sometimes you can put your energy into a person and maybe they're not ready to do the right things in their life. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you own, that's what you own. And so if that person, if you two are not, if your goals don't align, you know, and I'm out here trying to save the world and you're out here trying to rob the world, then... You know, that's not going to work. So we got Libra energy, justice energy twice. Somebody is letting go of control issues and deciding they put themselves back on the right path. You know, I got to heal from the resentments that I experienced or the pain that I experienced during this connection, the betrayals. Somebody knew. It's like, I just, I don't know. It's like this person is never going to take accountability for whatever. Or, ooh, so this could have been a very divine connection between the two of you, but somebody's heart isn't in it anymore. I feel like the masculine is wanting to reconnect, but there's also something in his mind that ain't quite made up. He may be wondering how, how can he come back. He may be thinking about the confusion that messed up the relationship he may still be it's like he's learning it's like you know how you go back and you're like oh, okay <laughs> i see i see why i see i see why so this person is definitely wishing to be able to come back to this feminine energy but there's a lot of disappointment here it's feeling like a missed opportunity and we have, it's time to disconnect from them. Nobody has permission to take your power. Some of you may have been dealing with a Libra or Sagittarius. I'm going to clarify, it's time to disconnect from them. Somebody could have found out about something that caused a lot of regret. Or somebody needs to go ahead and be honest about how they're feeling in this connection. And I feel like that's what's going to help someone to have peace about this. Somebody also needs to address, like, if there are codependencies or, like, addictions that are affecting this connection, somebody also needs to be very honest with themselves about that. Okay, I feel like it's a struggle to move on from something. It's something that somebody keeps going back to. So it's feeling like a substance, okay, or a lifestyle or a way of thinking or something like that. It's keeping somebody from moving forward. And I feel like it's going to end this relationship if somebody doesn't get ahead of it or something like that. Advice for Aquarius. Yeah, the song that's playing right now is called How Many Times. <laughs> Somebody's over it. And sometimes if it's not working, you just got to let it be, Aquarius. Especially if it keeps breaking your heart. Okay. I wouldn't wait on this anymore. Because if I am... I mean, the bottom line of, of it is... You know, if we're both of a sober mind... Let's just say this is about addiction. You know, there's... there's like, I don't drink a lot. I just don't. <laughs> I used to, in my 20s, I burnt myself out, and now I just don't drink. I don't like the way it feels. I like to feel 
Like I'm in control of my action. I know my limit, you know. And um, so it would be kind of strange for me to get with somebody who drinks a lot. Now, it doesn't mean that it couldn't work. It just means that... Mm, I, I'll say, I, de I, I dealt with that. You know what I mean? And it's nothing against, like, because I smoke. So it's like, everybody got their shit, but smoking doesn't keep me from driving. So if you need me at three in the morning and there's an emergency, I can get to you. You know what I'm saying? So as long as it doesn't affect your ability or your capacity to show up, whether it's for work, whether it's for your kids, whether it's for in your relationship, because it takes two. <laughs> it takes two to make something work. So it's like there's something that someone needs to get a, a grip on, I feel. And it's also helping someone else to become a lot more selective in what they give their energy to. Because it's like, how many times? Right? So, Pisces. Ooh, honey. Pisces. Y'all might be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay? Let's see here. Your energy is in your, in your reading already. So... My condolences if any, if any of you have lost a child. There may just be a childish person that you're relinquishing from your life this week. Um, let's look at it. Number nine could be significant. So many of you, um, many of you, what am I saying here? Oh, yeah. You'd rather not. It could be an offer from somebody who's just very childish, who's who's immature. Maybe it's all talk. Maybe this person is, I don't know, it's like you were going back and forth, kind of stuck in your head. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like there's some betrayal on this, on the masculine energy side. And I feel like there's a feminine who was fighting for something that it's like it could have been good it felt like you know the ultimate thing for me but in reality it's like somebody was it looked better on paper the reality of it was not you know and and this person also may have had another person that they needed to walk away from okay in order to be with you okay there could be some information that comes out that makes you not pursue this person anymore. I'm seeing a third party situation possibly. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Taurus again, Gemini, fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Tell me more. Some of you may just go to Italy and see it for yourself. <laughs> if many of you are going to go to Italy or go somewhere. For some of you, you need to see for yourself. Don't just take somebody's word for it. How about that? All right. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, or heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Stop wasting your time time for you to move on from something could be a breakup or there could be somebody who keeps something just enough in the dark for to keep you coming back to it but i feel like there's something that you're starting to open your eyes to sometimes it's just the amount of disappointment that you feel that can be enough you know because it's like now this person may be trying to offer you something but you're so unhappy with what's happened in the current state that it's like and, it, and sometimes it can make you feel guilty because it's like, damn, well, they're trying so hard. But because of the way that I feel now or, or the way that I've been made to feel, I don't see this relationship going anywhere. So Knight of Wands, Three of Swords in Reverse, your heart isn't in this anymore. You know that you don't feel the same about this anymore. You know that you don't feel the same about putting effort into this anymore. You're not inspired. And you see the problem with this person. It could be addictions. There could be like a toxic way of this. Something toxic here. 
emotional unavailability, manipulation, could be third parties. This is somebody who tries to get a reaction out of you. This is somebody that you need to forgive, Pisces, for something. Sometimes the problem is forgiving the person because you don't feel the same about them anymore. And that that's clear here. It's like you're hesitant to put your heart out there with this person. And the more you try to push it away, I feel like the more that they chase you, okay? If you knew better, you would do better. Don't push, don't beat yourself up. Just avoid it now that you see what's going on because I feel like there's somebody who was trying to keep you from seeing what was going on. Almost like I'm trying to manifest you from where I'm at. I want you to come over here type of energy. I don't feel like this person was putting a whole lot of effort in. Or that, that was like their mentality. Just because you feel feel something for this person doesn't mean that I feel like it was really that the the reality was much different from the fantasy with this person the fantasy was better than the reality so feelings ain't facts this could be somebody who was already who could have been dancing between you and someone else okay this person could have already had a girlfriend already I feel like it could have been for financial reasons for some of you but there was something here that this person wasn't communicating with you about or outright lying to you about and you noticed the pattern and you're blocking that shit. This person was not looking to be in a relationship or date. That's probably why you felt friend zone or that's probably why, um, I don't know. There was something inconsistent in their behavior. This person did, it could have made you wait to get a reaction out of you to see how much you desire them so they may have like put you on pause here and there there so for some of you there's a leo that you need to walk away from um who's caused a lot of resentment in your life or this is just somebody that you clearly see you know who wants to reconnect with you but you don't need to do that because they're still not going to take accountability for why the relationship got messed up anyway so you don't want to do it, I'll do it for you, is the energy here, right? But they know that they want you again. But you know that the love is unrequited. So, little Pisces, that love that you was about to pour back into them, not pour back, not about to, but you just need to pour it back into you. There's something better for you. You're walking away from something that you can't trust, something that's been a very un unreliable headache in your life okay hmm let me look at this one more thing pisces before i pull advice for you i want to look at this aquarius energy seeing you yeah if you're dealing with Aquarius there's gonna be a truth or well, you're gonna see something very clearly this week or why you were afraid to pour your heart into this where somebody's attention was going why things just wouldn't seem to get on track many of you are gonna be single from this person it was a big drain on you, Pisces. It was a big drain on you. Advice for Pisces this week. Conserve your energy. What are you holding on that needs to end? What are you holding on to that needs to end? What are you fighting for that you shouldn't be fighting for? What? Where? Where's the leak in the building, Pisces? There's somebody you don't need to worry about no more because they, they just want to confuse you. They just want to get a reaction out of you. And they're not telling you the truth. Aquarius energy is strong. So, Pisces, think about it. And don't do it. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. Don't do it. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Lovers, Temperance, Ace of Wands in reverse. Don't do it. Forgive this person. 
do it for you. Send them love. Move on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I am going to pull a collective message. And then I'm out of here. So... Collective message, messages for the collective. There's somebody who feels lost without you. There's somebody who really still cares about you. There could have been like a blame game going on between you and someone and identifying whose fault it is doesn't really help anything. Especially if neither person or one person isn't ready to take accountability for it. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's married and you are too full of everything that makes you whole to be loved halfway by somebody. I can't do this anymore. I wish I had known. Somebody may have not known that the person was married. Okay. Now I feel like I've given so much and I feel lost without you. Giving too much is just as bad as giving too little. So both people are wrong. <laughs> no, this ain't about pointing the finger but sometimes it's like that you know what I mean it's like I, I beat myself up for giving too much to a situation I knew wasn't gonna be able to give back to me false hope so I knew somebody was giving me false hope it's like they're still interested but they are dealing with somebody else romantically and they had 35 45 however many years to grow up you cannot help them do that you cannot help them grow up they have to take full responsibility for their whatever you know what i mean maybe back then they didn't get the message you know sometimes people ain't gonna learn until they gotta go through it themselves. you not they you can't make a person learn a lesson before it's their time you know what i mean advice for the week for the collective for the week for the collective think with your mind this week okay collective many of you may be letting go of a relationship this week some of you also may be um, switching jobs this week getting with something that aligns more with your schedule something like that some of you may be letting go of a fire sign this week it may be for the best there's bad communication and a lack of accountability that is breaking up a relationship cause a lot of instability there's something that had that lacked foundation but it just wouldn't end you know so i see hmm Some of you may realize that somebody had a new desire. This may be for a masculine energy. Could possibly be an air sign. If some, if you notice somebody's heart ain't in it, or if like you feel like their emotions aren't with you anymore, I feel like it's because there has been something new that has been started. Whether that's a new relationship, I feel like somebody was questioning that. Is this a new relationship? You know what? I don't think it's that. I think somebody is like where some whereas somebody thinks that somebody's off cheating and like going out in the streets. I don't think that's what it is. If there's a masculine energy who's wondering why there's a feminine who doesn't seem like she's in it anymore, I feel like it's because she's literally trying to like and this is not to defend the women. You know what I mean? But I clarified it. And it's like I don't think she's out cheating. I think that she's trying to fix herself from whatever this is. And sometimes when somebody's vibration raises, they start looking better. And it just seems like, well, what you got going on? What's up your sleeve? Why you? Why for you? You know what I mean? <laughs> and I feel like this is causing the masculine some insecurities. And he's like, well, what you got going on? You know, who? Uh, who? And yes, when you raise your vibration, it does attract new people. So, let's see.
Free your mind this week, collective. There's a connection here that maybe there was a masculine energy. They were not ready for it. But now this person is wanting to return. But I am seeing somebody, a feminine energy, who is saying no. It's like some masculine is finally taking their chance, but I feel like it's almost like it's too late. So something is feeling like too late. The world card is here. The devil card in the reverse, seven of swords. Either somebody didn't speak up fast enough or someone's deception is the reason why this is over. I'm so sorry. It was a sucky message, but it just kept coming out for this week. Almost in all the signs reading. So, give me a Moonology card for the collective. We have last quarter moon in the side in the sign of Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. Let's read about it, y'all. Twenty-two could be significant. The twenty-second, what's the day? Twenty-second could be a, a significant day for a lot of you. Maybe around one o'clock. Some of you could live in California or London. Good news is that, wait. Even though you have some issues that need tackling, there's nothing that you can't manage. More good news is that the best way for you to clear the air and reach a breakthrough right now. So you can get your life to go the way that you wish it to go is to have a good old fashioned laugh. Sometimes you just got to laugh it off, right? <laughs> it's all too easy to take life too seriously. This card urges you to take a lighter approach to life if you want to manifest your dreams. It's great to be earnest, but there's a time and a place. Don't entertain superficial feelings as these are no better than the fake ones. Okay. <laughs> Being open to life will make you more open to manifesting. Get in touch with your mystical side and have fun with it. Life loves me and I love life is the mantra for this card. We're going to pull some messages from the Crown Royale and then I'm out of here. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe if you did. Collective, here we go. A man without a woman is like a tree without leaves or branches. I feel like this whole reading has been about somebody who lost out on the love of their life. Do the difficult things while they, while they are easy and the great things while they are small. <laughs> I heard a lot of you need to go ahead and like get your paperwork organized. Some of you need to go ahead and prepare whatever for your taxes, for your businesses. Some of you need to go ahead and have those hard conversations before you get too deep into that relationship. Okay, ask the hard questions. Do the hard part now. The man is the head and the woman is the crown upon it. Okay. And if somebody is having a problem, okay, eating in an abnormal manner is a sign of being tense. So if you notice that there's something, I don't know. For some of you, it could be um, you're worried about your child's eating habits. It is a sign. If you if you feeling like your stomach ain't right, your stomach is, is a big indicator of what you really got going on. Your health in general is a big indicator of what you got going on. So many of you need to be more conscious of your eating habits or of certain habits or how your body feels around certain people and in certain environments. And then go from there. Collective, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for, for your support. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.